And you don't change my philosophy with my girl and my kids just because I done made a little bit of money. That's crazy. You hold on to where you are. See, a lot of y'all think that a person got to change. Well, a person don't really change. I feel the same about all my stuff just like you feel about your stuff. You think if you get something new that you feel different about your new stuff than if I get something new? Damn it, it's all the same. I love getting new stuff. It's like, it's, like, i tell you what I think. I think everybody in this room done gone through the raggedy car stage. I said, everybody in here done gone through the raggedy car stage. <laughs> I see what's happening. <laughs> Some of y'all ain't clapping because that motherfucker out in the parking lot. <laughs> hey, let me tell y'all something though. Listen to me, St. Louis. If you still got a ragged ass car, just hang in there. Because see, the new car is coming. But it's a process you got to go through. You got to have an old ass car to really appreciate the brand new car. So if you're driving something raggedy, just hang on in there, cause the new car coming. You think when you get a new car, you think you feel different about your new car than when I get a new car? I feel the same about mine when, you, when I get one, same as you when you get one. What's the first thing you do when you get a brand new car and, and you pull up in the parking lot for the first time and you get out and shut the door? What's the first thing you do? looking around to see who saw you get out of it. You know why? Because that new car means something to you. You know why it means something to you? Because you've been driving a ragged ass car for a long ass time. But see, when God bring you on the other side, you got to show no appreciated then. You got to look back, see where you come from. That's what it is. A lot of y'all sitting here trying to act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Trying to act like, yeah, your ass been in a nice car all your broke ass life. But no, no, let me tell you, some of y'all can relate to what I'm about to say. How many of y'all had that real ragged ass car? How many of y'all had the car to, that was so ragged, you know the one that when you cut it off, the motherfucker don't cut off? It's in the parking lot having a seizure. You try to walk away from it, act like it ain't yours. Somebody always stop you right before you get in the mall. Hey, player, player, you left your car running over there. Oh, no, man, the motherfucker's off. Oh, no, dog, your shit is still running. God damn it, I said it's off. No, no, motherfucker, it's off. I had a car so raggedy one time, y'all. I gotta tell you this here. <laughs> I had a car so raggedy one time. I'm driving down the street and it's night. And police officer just gonna pull me over. And I'm thinking no reason at all. So I pull over, he come up to the side of the ride. I see him coming, so I got my hands on the wheel, you know, 10 and two. You know, cause you can just in case some shit go down. And he step up to the door. I look up at him, I say, uh, what's the problem, officer? He said, I pulled you over because the tent on your window ain't legal. I said, excuse me? He said, I'm pulling you over cause the tent on your window ain't legal. I said, motherfucker, that ain't 10. That's a hefty bag.
You see all that duct tape around that son of a bitch? Now why would I duct tape up a goddamn window? And get your nightstick away from it before you fuck around and punch a hole in it. <laughs>